Hi everyone, Sarah here. I have my uh, DT project for this week for the Not Too Shabby Shop on Zibbit. It's uh, Jamie's Scrap and Stampers here on YouTube. Um, check out her shop. She just posted some new stamps. She got um, Bella, or Stamping Bella, sorry. Um, I haven't uh, played with Stamping Bella in a long time, so I, I got a couple of them. So you guys will see, but run over there and check out. And there's still some stamps that are on sale for 15% off until the uh, 28th, I believe. And you can, till the end of the month, you can still use my coupon code, which is S-A-R-A-H, and get an additional 10% off your purchase. So, um, Jonathan and I were coloring up the Polycraft stamps, or Polycraft stamps, um, from CC Designs. And this is Jack. I have him all colored up and I layered him on a Spellbinders here with some sparkly, it's scintillating silver from Lindy's. Um, and these are some envelopes. We pulled out my uh, containers that had all the Halloween stuff in it. Halloween paper and stamps and stuff like that. So um, these envelopes I had already made with my envelope punch board last year. So we just decorated those. I'm going to put an image on him. I'm not sure which one. There's one uh, from the CC Designs that says, Hey Pumpkin. <laughs> so I'm thinking of that one. But um, So we were playing around with these, but then, um, because I was on Not Too Shabby, I noticed that Jamie got some stamps back in stock. She got back Latte Anya and Up Up Bean from the Greening Farm. Yay! So if you guys do not have them yet, sorry about the glare, these are my laminated cards that I keep them on now, I say jump on over to the Not Too Shabby Shop and get these little guys because they are so cute. So because of that I decided to do some projects with them. So I used <laughs> Latte Anya and Up Up Bean and then I also used the 30mm uh, uh, roses and these ones were aqua I believe these are from Jamie's shop they're wild orchid craft flowers but she now st has them in her shop and then these are the mini gardenias um, these are the light pastels there's a brighter color and they are so super cute the size of them is perfect for little projects so I used that and then also Jamie had sent me these ones which I thought they were the same, but they're not. They're, um, the leaves are a bit bigger, so I'm wondering if these are poinsettias. But they're gorgeous. And then I pulled out this design paper that I've had in my stash for a while, and this is We Are Memory Keepers. Uh, Tiffany's is the, the name of the pattern, or the, the stack. It's all very pretty browns and pastel pinks, turquoises, greens. Very, very pretty. So the first thing that I did, um, I wanted to make little gift type items. So I did another one of the crayon boxes and this is from Bonus Tutorial Live Love Scrap. I'll put a link to her tutorial down below. Um, so I just made the box out of, um, it's actually basil bling cardstock. You can see it's all shiny in like a chocolate brown. So I did the box out of that and then I matted the paper all the way around and did a belly band and this is an MFT doily die and then there's Up Up Bean. I sprayed the whole thing with scintillating silver which I don't really recommend. <laughs> if you're cutting them out and putting ink around your edges. This black marker that I use, when it gets wet, it runs. So it actually doesn't look too bad, but because um, it depends on how saturated it gets. And I just realized I forgot to stamp in, so I'm gonna have to draw in her lines in here. I totally forgot about that. But she still looks super cute. And um, I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you guys to show you how to color the two colors with your Copic markers. Because um, a lot of people asked that when I did the um, little blue button stamps. There was a summer image and she had a bathing suit with a, a skirt and I did a sheer skirt on it. So I'll do a tutorial for that with Up Up Bean for you guys. 
So I paper pieced her skirt and her hat. Um, everything else is colored with Copics. And then on the top here, I used a felt bow that Irene had gifted to me. Thank you, Irene. And then this is the 30 millimeter Aqua Rose. It's very pretty, very dimensional. And then there's nothing on the inside right now. But then the lid just tucks behind her balloons. Um, I did do a second one. So this one is same thing, colored in and paper pieced her hat and her skirt and then sprayed it with scintillating silver. You can see the black ran there a little bit more. So then usually what I do, because I cut this out, because I'm a messy colorer, um, then I would stamp the image again on white paper and layer this on top and like I would die cut the white paper underneath before putting her down. So that was Up Up Bean. And for Latte Anya, I made some decorated coffee sleeves to put some gifts into. So I just used a regular coffee sleeve. I traced it out with the pattern paper and then distressed the edges and inked the edges with Vintage Photo. And I colored Latte Anya out with Copic colors, Copic markers, sorry. Paper pieced her vest and her hat. The heart is um, colored and cut out and layered on top again. And then I have, these are my crochet flowers. Those are the mini gardenias. These are just $1.50 roses from Michaels. I added some pearls. And then I have the saying, your kindness warms my heart. I do it up like that just for some dimension. There's some more flowers. Those are the white ones that... Uh, Jamie gifted me. Thank you, Jamie. Now, this stamp set is from Fiskars. I don't have um, another coffee set, but Jamie just posted a really cute one from Lawn Fawn. Very adorable, and it has the words that, uh, they're kind of coffee and tea sayings, but they have the swirls in them to make them look like they're coming out of the coffee cups. Super cute. So there's the first one. Here's the other one. I gave her a nose. <laughs> I was just trying it out. <laughs> See how it looks. So I, co I colored in a nose for her. So again, I paper pieced the hats. I did some shading still with my markers on the pattern paper and paper pieced her vest. And then there's another one of my crochet flowers, the mini gardenias, $1.50 flowers. And again, same thing. I did the uh, banner just sticking up and the back is the same but I can slide some goodies in there to send off to a friend. So super cute, love the way they turned out. I totally recommend these ones are hard to get a hold of so if you can get your hands on them at the not too shabby shop which you should be able to, she just posted them uh, yesterday, get on over there. All right, and don't forget to use my DT code. It's capital S-A-R-A-H, and it will get you an additional 10% off your purchase. All right, leave a comment, subscribe if you wish, and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.